Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, New Game Plus. I have decided to try out uh, some miracles. I really want to get a healing spell. Just speak up if you're in need of miracles. That's why I'm here, after all. Because I've put a few points into faith, so hopefully I can use like the early healing spells. Oh, you know what? I already bought it. I must have bought this in my, the last time I played. Oh, darn it. Yeah, this keeps happening. <sighs> what are we going to get rid of? Let's get rid of Fireball. And I will use Heal. I got this one too, but it only has one use. This has three. I don't have the faith for it, so... Go. And then I will put in. I've gotten rid of the bow. Put this buckler back and this priest chime. There we go. So I've got magic in both hands heals on my left and fire on my right. Let me sign out here and back in to see if I can get steam to stop bugging out on me. So, hopefully that fixes that. Got my uh, Xanthus armor on. And today we are going to go kill... Hopefully. Uh, the old Dragon Slayer. Um, which is here. Finish up this zone. Hammer. Got a great sword. Let's use the shield for this just in case. Because <laughs> these guys hit pretty hard. Wouldn't want to buckler stop them. of item dropping. Oh. Getting invaded. Gotta go fire damage. Got me. Boy, I wasn't doing much damage with that sword, was I? I did like, like over half of his life with the, uh, with that first repost, but then, um, all of the hits after that weren't kind of adding up to very much. So I see he switched to the whip because it's, I, I think it's not parryable. And clearly I was parrying. I should have switched my other shield. I've got too many bits of gear, and I know that I have 
I've got three weapon slots, which I really could make use of, but... Oh, my ring is broken. But, um... But when I have three weapons, or like three shields or whatever, I tend to end up on the wrong thing when I'm kind of in a panic trying to go through them. So it's, it's nice having only two, because then you know you only have to hit the button once to get the thing you want. Otherwise I kind of like forget what order they're in there. And it's always at, at like moments where you need the thing quickly and importantly. That's where I lose it. Oh, the extra one is gone. Oh. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, see those two red phantoms up there? One, two. this hammer <laughs> against these knights. It's just, it's such a satisfying sound when you hit the armor with the hammer. All right, what have we got up here? Let's make sure we're healed. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Nope. Really? It's relentless offense. Don't let them turn around. Ooh, can I get a sneaky backstab on you? Nope. I went too fast. And leave enough to roll away. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well played. Okay. Do this room again. I remember how terrified I was of this room when I first started playing Dark Souls 2. Now it's, like, really fun. I love going through here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. These knights are just, they're really fun to fight. You know, they're big and slow, so it's like, it's dangerous if you mess up like that. But, you know, they have a very predictable, like... Uh, I don't mean predictable, I mean, uh, they, they... What's the word I'm looking for? They, they have very obvious tells, so you can tell what they're about to do. Telegraph, that's the word I'm looking for. item down here that I always forget to pick up. Divine Blessing. Divine Blessings get me killed more than like anything else. Like any other item. Because they're so slow. Like if you use them in combat, you're pretty much guaranteeing your enemy a hit. Alright, I gotta go slower here. Okay. But real slowly. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Backstab. Oh, get the backstab. And 
jump attack. And a swing. Uh, let's try some magic. fire hurt them. Oh, wow. Quite a bit. I thought maybe they would be fire resistant because they're all metal. And one more. I'll open that. They want to give me their pants really, really badly. So, if we're going to fight this guy, I think I'll stick with the club. Get our ring of binding. Ooh, five human effigies. And I think I should probably be on this shield. Actually, he uses lightning. Well, these are the only two shields I have. Uh, we'll go no bow. Definitely the hammer. Oh, I should be using my heal miracle instead of using Estus flasks. Let's do, uh... I guess we'll use some great fireball. Since if I'm close enough to use combustion, I could be hitting him with a hammer instead. That move always hit me when I played through my first game. right out of his move. And you're dead. A truly humbling victory, if you will. Let's go talk to Targray. And get our mask. One of these things has a mask in it. Night Iron Mask. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Hade? Hade? Like Hades? Or Hyde? Transient being. You have obtained proof you are worthy of joining our order. You may call yourself one of us, 
and are free to plant your roots in this garden of the gods. Be proud. I, Targre, do proclaim from this day you are a knight of the blue. Rejoice and bask in your new honor. Do my ears deceive me? Who would refuse such magnificence? Gods have mercy on this half-wit. <laughs> he knows not what he speaks. Oh, Targray. Sorry. I'm an heir to the sun. Check it out, rocking those abs. You are a wandering transient. Do you rescind your ways and seek honor as an apostle of blue? Oh, I guess I have to join in order to open up his, uh, his store. His storefront. But I can always leave them at the cat. You are no longer a mere vagabond. You are now a guardian, a knight of the blue. Proud knight, take this. Thank Wear you. this ring and shine light upon stone. Then you will hear the voices of the blue apostles. Listen for their cries of help and repel the malicious invaders. This is the proud work of the Knights of the Blue. The way they elevate themselves to a higher plane. I'll provide what you need. You may visit me at any time. Let's go do that. Let's go present a token of fidelity. Uh, I'm going to want my buckler. And... That's probably fine. I guess I'll go with the hammer. On fire lit, and I can present a token at one of these things. Uh, let's do this one. I like this, uh, it's just kind of like an open, flat, um, like arena. Yeah, the, the PvP matchups in this game work really well. Like, much, much better than the other two games. Oh, wait a minute. This is not the arena I thought. This is not at all the arena I thought I was going into. I must have them confused. Alright, where's my sparring partner? There you are. Oh, I fell. I guess we're fighting down here. Okay. Uh, is there anything we have to do? Oh, look at that, he's taking damage from the sword. Okay, we're officially fighting. <laughs> oh god, I'm getting my butt kicked, too. Nope. I feel like this person's kind of playing with me. Going for backstabs, I see. Going for a, going for a flashy finish. Really going for that flashy finish. One thing that I've, I know I've complained about this before, but I don't like that you can't switch your items in the middle of a roll. Like, I thought right there that I was on my, um, I thought I was going to come out of that roll on my uh, pyromancy glove. 
so that I could, like, roll, switch, and then come up and, like, cast a pyromancy this way. But it only... you have to kind of wait until the very end of the roll if you want to do that. If you do it, like, halfway through, it doesn't work. So that's something I've really got to get used to doing, because I, I use rolls all the time to switch my gear up. Like, it was a habit that I got into from uh, playing Dark Souls 1. Uh, do I have any more tokens? I do. And I kind of liked that, like, you know, you use every, kind of every moment of the fight <laughs> to do something. I need to be more aggressive at the beginning of fights. I think I'm always, like, I always wait for the other person to, like, make a move to kind of signify the start of the fight. Uh, and obviously I took, like, half my life bar of damage when I did that. I need to be... I need to be meaner. Hmm. This one. Giant Dad. Uh, where are we? Uh oh, I got serious lag there. Isn't this the same arena? in the butt. Where are my stairs? How did I get back up there? Stop that. too late in all of my... Oh. <laughs> uh, I think even if I had parried that, I would have died from the uh, elemental damage. I think that's the, um, that's the Dragon Slayer Spear, I think. Uh, like the boss weapon that you can make from the old Dragon Slayer's soul. Uh, what else have I got? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not good at PvP. Never have been, probably never will be. Oh, same guy. Let's do this. Give ourselves a little more range on our weapon. Also, how do I get out of this place? Like, up to the top. There's gotta be like, there we go, there's a ramp. Oh, I had no more stamina, all that rolling. Why do I 
I feel like I never do any damage with my swings to enemies. I guess they just have, like, good armor. Like, I, I haven't upgraded, like, any of my armor. Darn lock-on. Oh. Oh, I thought that was gonna be, um, a healing spell. For the parry again. Yeah, look at like... I don't know. I have a fully upgraded weapon, but whenever I fight people in PvP, I feel like my, my swings don't do much of their life bars worth of damage. They could also just have like a lot of life. That's another possibility. Like they're geared for PvP and I'm kind of not... or they're, they're like built for PvP. So they probably have like a lot of points and uh, I guess I have 36 in Vigor. I don't know. I guess armor. I guess that's why I don't do as much. Because I tend to die in like, you know, like six hits maybe from a weapon. And they definitely don't. Uh, where am I going? There's a bonfire down here. Anyway, so that's our PvP for today. Uh, I lost <laughs> all my matches. As I do. As I kind of do. <laughs> I think I... Like, overall, like, historically, I think I've lost about 90% of my PvP battles. So why don't we go to the gutter? Oh, oh. There are a couple of things that I should do. Um, first of all, I picked up these pants from... Where are they? They're like the... Shadow something? Shadow leggings there. I picked these up from uh, one of the, like, additional NPCs that was in the Flexile Sentry fight. So these say, Used to hide in the cover of night, those who are especially adept assassins are often hired as bodyguards. In an attempt to stave off the curse, King Vendrick hired shadow men to put down the hollows, but before long they were hollowed themselves. So, yeah. It seems like everyone who's hollowed, like, all of the, like, even, like, all of the bosses and everything seem like they were sort of former, you know, good guys, if, I guess, if you consider King Vendrick's people the good guys. That's the rough thing, like, I guess aside from the giants, and even then we're not really sure who kind of instigated things, like, we know that, we know Vendrick sailed over there and stole stuff from them, so their invasion is kind of, you know, justified by something. Um, but it's got to be kind of rough, like, this whole battle against the Hollows, like, it's not like there's really a bad guy in it, you know? It's just <laughs> people went kind of, like, stark raving mad, and people, like, had to put down their friends and family and stuff. It's kind of awful. Uh, so... What are we doing now? The other thing that I wanted to do was... I'm just all over the road here. I've got these key items, which uh, kind of tell you where the DLC entr entrances are. So, the Dragon Talon. A terribly worn Dragon Talon. Legend has it that in the deepest reaches of the Black Gulch, behind a door locked from the inside, is a magnificent city built for a great sleeping dragon. This talon clearly dates to ancient times, but great vitality emanates from it still. So, one of the DLCs is in the Black Gulch. Heavy iron key. Piece of iron shaped like a key. Past the altar deep within the iron keep and through a door is the tower that the old Iron King used to produce iron. The unearthly weight of this chunk of iron is a, remi is a reminder of the Iron King's own immeasurable strength. Finally, the frozen flower, a stone ornament shaped like a flower, cold enough to dampen the greatest heat, opens the door to a new path from the Shrine of Winter found on the road to the Great Castle. So, the Shrine of Winter, the Old Iron Keep, and the Black Gulch. And I assume that these are the order that the DLCs came out in, so I'm going to go to this Black Gulch one first. 
which is why I was going to go here, to the gutter. I haven't actually been through the gutter, I just tagged the bonfire and then worked out before. So we can light all these things. And there's like a collapsing floor right here. That I have to be careful about. Okay. I get that you're angry. <laughs> Understand. Uh, I need a torch somewhere here so that I can use my magic spell. There we go. Let's light this so I can get rid of my torch. Go to the priest chime. And use heal. See how much this heals. Oh, not very much. Not very much at all. Probably upgrading the chime would help, and probably upgrading my faith would help. Uh, you guys don't be there anymore. Okay, get my torch back. That is not the right button. Okay, when will you button correctly? Uh, where'd I go? Who's this? Oh. <laughs> I think I got lost in that room last time, too. Oh, right. There's a guy in here. These guys have, the, like, the worst hitboxes. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't hit me. You get up. Where's the next sconce? go. Oh. <laughs> down, down we go. Sconce. And some more heal. Now we are out of healing spells. So we are back to using using Estuses. back once again. Creepy. Creepy ghost. Missed me entirely. That's nice of you. I say there is like a ledge or something under here you can drop onto. Can I, can I 
jump st stab you. Yes. <laughs> Go over the edge. There's like a ledge down there somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Hold it here. Get our like evil eye ring, I think. One of one of many that you find in this game, if I remember. Somewhere here, I think. Ring of Evil Eye plus one. Nope, just the regular version. I remember that I finished my playthrough with several of those. you can drop onto there. I don't think it goes anywhere. Just back down. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You're rattling chains. chains on him. Great axe. Oh no! Oh, I think this is what I did last time. Can I get up here? Maybe if I like do a jump from like... There we go. Have I ever gone up here before? I don't remember there being like a zipline thing here. Have I ever done this? I don't think I've ever done this. I think this is a new part of the zone. Huh. Looks like it gets me back in here. Interesting. Uh, so where am I supposed to go? If I hadn't dropped down that... onto that ledge, which led to that whole side area... then I would have gone this way. So here's, here's the progression. Guys hanging on the ledge right there. I guess I could shoot them with a bow, but eh. Can't be bothered to equip it right now. I like this zone. Because it's one of the few places in the game where the torch mechanic really kind of comes into play. Nope. <laughs> uh, let's put 
on the shield for this guy. Get him. Why don't I just do this? That works. Aromatic ooze. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, I've probably got tons and tons of flame butterflies. Sure, I've gotten that item before. I remember I almost died on this part last time, too, actually. These guys hit like much harder than I had expected. Fall off the edge. Do it. You know, you wanna. Um, what was I doing a second ago? Guess I was exploring this way. Oh, I see. He's got some kind of like dark enchanted weapon, like a a dark longsword or something. That's why these ones do so much more damage. Wait, there's a torch over here. Let's get this place lit up. No, I have items that give me more spell casts. But I also have Estus Flask, so no big. Oh, right. That's what I was. <laughs> that was the thing I forgot I needed to do. <laughs> now I remember. So something I did not know when I played this game the first time is that this uh, giant bug in here, which terrified me, is actually helpful. First of all, I think it heals me. No, I guess not. But it does... Uh, if I get myself poisoned. Which I guess these are not poisonous. If I were to get myself poisoned, I think this smoke is, uh, is poison curing. Which I guess they hint at with all this poison moss. Yep, yep. That was one of the things I learned kind of after after my first, like, my blind Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Uh, let's go this way. You've got a dark weapon. That makes you dangerous. Nope. I don't 
on some date. There's a bonfire out here if I can break this door down. I don't know where the, um, I don't know where the DLC, like, entrance actually is. According to this key item, go out here so I, I'm not wasting torch. According to the key item, it said it was, like, behind a door locked from the inside. A door locked from the inside. I feel like all the doors I came across down here, I, I opened. Like, I found keys for all of the ones down in the... Oh, well, I'm still in the gutter. I need to get to the Black Gulch. So, I've still got, I've still got a ways to go here. Gotta go down one of these ladders. I don't remember what's in that pot over there, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten that. Go all the way down to the bottom, and then I got ambushed by a whole bunch of guys, so let me... Okay, I've got my good defense shield on. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of guys down here. Let me get a uh, Firestorm going. Oh, I got rid of Firestorm. Okay. Oh, I'm... Ooh, that was lucky. I thought I was about to die. The three for three for one. It's a good thing too, because I think if even one of those guys had hit me, I would have been a goner. <sighs> I got rid of all my fireballs. How about uh, one of these? things have like corrosive acid in them that eats away at your armors. Fragrant branch of yore. Very nice. Need a whole bunch of those. Okay, and from this point on, I don't think I need the torch anymore. So I'm gonna get a bonfire up here on my left. Uh, right up in here. Go. So now I need to find the I need to find the exit. And I guess I should probably go kill the boss too. Uh maybe hammer for the boss. walls around. Okay. That's a pain.
Lone Hunter Schmidt. It's like an archer. Alright. Got my shield, got my mallet. Use my three great fireballs first. Oh, I don't even know if this guy's gonna have ads. I did switch up the flexile sentry fight. He just wants to play with his stalls. bunch of bodies. Alright, go get him, Schmidt. Well then. That was a good start. Run! Questions. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about that? Oh, keep some stamina. Keep some stamina. up on these, like, little legs of his. So that wasn't an AoE. Swing to get behind him. Do a thing. All right. Do a different thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. I'm in the sweet spot. Or not.
little faster. Darn it. <laughs> that was a net gain of not enough. No, it's not going to be fast enough. Oh, it was. Just barely. Okay. Well fought, Rotten. <laughs> well fought indeed. Oh, I got two souls. I got a soul of a rotten and an old dead one soul. Did that happen last time? I don't remember getting two souls. My boss souls. The old dragon slayer is reminiscent of a certain knight that appears in old legends. Soul of the Ineffable. This once magnificent soul continues to exert influence over the land, even after the Aeons have reduced it to these remnants. Use it to acquire numerous souls, or to create something of great worth. Once magnificent soul. Huh. The Ineffable. I need to look that word up, I don't remember what it means. I'm sure right now on the screen there'll probably be a definition. Where did I come in from? Where do I go? And where's my treasure? Jump! Fire seed. And jump! Is there like a, an exit somewhere around here? I know there's an exit somewhere around here. There's another way to go. <laughs> That's where I came in. Hiding. One of these walls has like a passageway in it. There it is. This is a Estus Flask Shard. Oh no, Sublime Bone Dust. Even better. And... And this is totally new. Uh, if I light this, don't I get warped? No. Okay, this is new. This has got to be the DLC. So let's take a look. With our trusty Binox. Uh... Like wingdings. Okay, so runic tablets times uh, five, right? One, two, three, four. Oh no, times four. And then this thingamajig, which is just like the one in the Shrine of Winter, including the missing heads. Which is interesting, because I thought maybe that was like erosion, but it does not appear to be. And I think we are going into the DLC right now. Yes, we are. Still no heads. Okay, so here's our port into and out of the DLC. Uh, unfortunately... <laughs> <laughs> what a place to end it, but I've got to cut this video here because it's running like over an hour. So, we will pick up right here in the next episode. And I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for uh, following along. I'm happy to be here. Get some new content next time. See you next time.